Well, if you want to play the game of baseball right, you have to know the rules. And that's why our good friend Ted Barrett is here today to explain some rules. And today, Ted, we're talking about the strike zone. There's a lot of misconceptions. Take us through what the real strike zone is. All right. Well, let's talk about what the rule book says about the strike zone. So first of all, the bottom part of the zone is the hollow of the knee. So that's the little bottom part of the knee right there. That was changed in the mid-90s. It used to be, they used to say the knee, but now it says the hollow of the knee. So we take it down a little bit below. Now the upper part of the strike zone, the rule book says it's the midpoint between the top of his shoulders and his belt. So that's gonna be about right here. Now, if he was standing straight up, this would be the top of his strike zone. But it also says, that you judge the strike zone when he's prepared to swing. So I'm gonna have him go ahead and get in his stance. You see now how his strike zone has collapsed a little bit. So now it's down here, probably right about where his arm is. So a pretty good gauge on him would be anything below his elbow would be a strike. So it'd be, this would be the top of the zone here. See quite a difference than if he was just standing straight up. Now he gets down ready to swing. That's his zone. So most guys, their zone will collapse. Now, if you remember Ricky Henderson, Hall of Fame baseball player, he would start out real low, and his zone would actually come up as he prepared to swing. But most of the guys, it's going to drop as they prepare to swing. All right, so now we'll talk about the width of the zone. What's a strike and what's a ball inside and outside? So if any part of the ball touches any part of the plate, it's a strike. A lot of people think the ball has to be completely within the plate. That's not true. This is the corner. This is actually a rule book strike right here. Of course, if the height's good, if it's above the hollow of his knee. So this would be a strike on the outside corner of the plate. And this would be a strike on the inside corner here. So if the ball passes in any part of the ball touching any part of the plate into the catcher's glove, that would be a strike. Good stuff right there. Sounds simple until it comes in at 90 miles an hour. Then you have to make a decision on the fly. Well, that's why they pay Ted Parrott and all the Major League umpires the big bucks. They know the rules, and we're certainly glad he's a friend of ours in our baseball tech talk. We'll see you next time.